teacher talking sports, what it does, what it do, how we live in MLB Network recently finished their top 100 baseball players in MLB right now. I'm not going to go over the whole list. You can find it on MLB.com. I'm going to name 10 of the biggest snubs from the list. I will mention the top 10. Uh, so first was Ronald Acuna Jr., second Mookie Betts, third Aaron Judge, fourth Shohei Otani, fifth Freddie Freeman, sixth Corey Seager, seventh Juan Soto, eighth Jordan Alvarez, ninth Garrett Cole, and tenth Julio Rodriguez. But again, this video, I'm going to look at 10 of the biggest snubs. MLB Network did not include these guys in the top 100 but I believe they have a very strong case to be on. And I'm going to say there's a lot of strong defensive players uh, that did not name the, make the list. Uh, you'll see them included on here. I am going to name the 10 players in alphabetical order by last name. They're not ranked. Let's start with someone who was called up late in the season, September 8th of last year. That is the 21-year-old Evan Carter, while Carter just played 23 games in the big leagues in the regular season, he batted 306 with a 1,058 OPS. And in the postseason, as Texas won the World Series, he batted 300 in that postseason with a 917 OPS. Just Really hit the ball well. Again, just 21 years old. He's played all over the outfield, mostly playing left. Zach Eflin, starting pitcher, um, first year with the Tampa Bay Rays was definitely a successful one as he uh, led the AL with 16 wins, also had a 3.5 ERA, well over a strikeout at inning and barely over a one whip on the year. Eflin finished 6th in AL Cy Young voting this past season. Next, the Oakland Athletics did not have any players, but Zach Geloff, Definitely had a case to be on here. Uh, made his debut on July 14th last year in his 69 games. Batted 267 with an 840 OPS. 14 homers, 14 stolen bases. He is 24 years old and also plays a fairly strong second base. Uh, one of the defensive whizzes. Didn't make the list. Andres Jimenez of the Cleveland Guardians. Two straight seasons, he won gold gloves. And actually, this past season, he led MLB, according to Baseball Reference, with 2.9 defensive war. While his offensive numbers weren't quite as good as 2022 when he finished 6th in AL MVP voting, he ended the season very strong and... Uh, definitely should be one of the better players in the league, at least top 100. Another defensive whiz, Key Brian Hayes of the Pittsburgh Pirates, third baseman, maybe has taken over Nolan Arenado as the best defensive third baseman in the game as he won his first gold glove this past season. While the bat wasn't always a strong point for uh, Hayes this past season, he did have over a uh, 100 OPS plus at 105, so 5% better than the average hitter. Bang 271, 15 homers, 31 doubles, 10 stolen bases. Another defensive player, Nico Horner, but he did a lot with the bat as well. But Horner won his first goal glove this past season at second base uh, and did a fairly good job at the plate as well, batting 283. Um, not much of a power hitter, but has hit 19 homers over the past two seasons, uh, but stole 43 bases last year, and over the past two seasons, 63 stolen bases while only being caught nine times. Starting pitcher Merle Kelly of the NL champion Arizona Diamondbacks, uh, Part of a one-two punch with Zach Gallon. Of course, Zach Gallon made the list, uh, but this past season, Kelly went 12-8 and eight with a 3.29 ERA and a 1.19 whip. 2022, 3.37 ERA, 1.13 whip. Also pitched excellent in the postseason uh, this past year as in his four starts. Went 3-1, and 2.25 ERA and 28 strikeouts in 24 innings. Starting pitcher Joe Musgrove, San Diego Padres, missed the last two months of last season, but in his 17 starts, 10 and 3, 3.05 ERA, 1.14 whip. In his three seasons with the Padres, 
Uh, 78 starts, has gone 31-19, and 3.05 ERA, 9.5 strikeouts per 9 innings, and a 1.09 whip. Relief pitcher Evan Phillips, uh, first year as a closer with the Dodgers last year, finished with 24 saves, a 2.05 ERA, and a 0.83 whip. More in a setup role in 2022, had a 1.14 ERA um, and a 0.76 whip. So, uh, you know, very few relief pitchers can match the dominance he's put up over the past two years. And we're going to end with starting pitcher Tarek Skubal of the Detroit Tigers, 27 years old. Um, started the year hurt, but did make 15 starts last season. Went 7-3 and three with a 2.80 ERA, striking out 11.4 batters per 9 innings. Had a 0.90 whip. Uh, had a solid 2022 as well with a 3.52 ERA in 21 starts. So those are 10 of my bigger snubs from the MLB Network's Top 100 Players Right now, this is in alphabetical order. Some other guys I considered, James Outman, Logan Gilbert, Cedric Mullins, Josh Young, uh, Hugh Darvish, Tommy Edmond, Ryan Helsley, uh, Shane Bieber, Tanner Bibby, Salvador Perez, Yuri Perez, Jesus Lazardo, Mitch Keller, uh, CJ Abrams, Riley Green, Glaber Torres, to name a few. Who do you think was the biggest snub from the list? Again, you could check out the whole list on MLB.com, and it aired on MLB Network. Anyhow, don't forget to subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe. Like the video, share the video, hit the bell for notifications. I'm out.